Uh, thanks, King, and uh, thank you all. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to make it short because I'd like you all to ask questions. And um, first and foremost, uh, I don't think anybody is born a transportation person. I don't think, uh, at least I don't know anyone. Uh, most of us stumbled into it or were lucky enough to have a mentor uh, that told us about transportation careers. Um, and that's how, how many of us, myself included, got hooked on it. So what I'd like to do this morning is talk briefly a little bit about transportation and why it's relevant uh, to our lives today and the difference that it makes in our lives today. Uh, and then give you an opportunity to ask questions or uh, hurl insults from the back or whatever you'd like to do. So. Um, first, uh, on behalf of President Obama and Secretary LaHood, it's, it's great to be here today because you're the future. Whatever you go on to do, be the best at it and be passionate about it. If you do those two things, you'll be great. That, that's all you, need, all you need to know and all you need to do. Um, I also want to give a special shout out to the 42 high school students from the ACE Mentor Program. Way to go. Keep up the good work. And we're looking for great things from you, okay? Uh, no, you can, you can clap. That's good. Uh, it, it's, for both Secretary LaHood and I, it's really the high point uh, of our days and the high point of our jobs to be able to talk to uh, uh, people like you who have the whole future in front of you and have those kind of options and who represent tomorrow uh, and the America of tomorrow. And uh, Looking across uh, this group today, I'm looking at the future of transportation. Now, you may not know that yet, uh, but you really are that future. Um, at the Department of Transportation, at both the federal, the state, the local level, and in the private sector, yes, we're about building new roads, um, but you're the ones that are going to be driving on them. And we're designing high-speed rail, but you're the ones that are going to be riding on it. And we may be creating better bridges, but you're the ones that are crossing those bridges. And uh, what I'd like to talk about today is a vision of transportation that's bigger than those facilities. It's more than just concrete uh, and steel and asphalt. Um, it's about a long-term vision for America's transportation program. Now, if you saw President Obama's State of the Union address, uh, you saw that he talked about the future, and he, and he talked about the future in three ways. One is investing in education, because that's the future infrastructure of our minds. Investing in research, because again, that's investing in America's future. And third, investing in infrastructure, because that's the foundational investment. That's literally how we build a better future for America. Uh, and the president is very much oriented uh, on the future in transportation. Um, a world-class transportation system uh, is what will build a better quality of life uh, for Americans for the next generation. It's what's going to create the kind of economic development opportunities and we need to get started now. Uh, America uh, today is a pretty congested place. Uh, if you're in rush hour traffic, if you're on our transit systems, uh, if you're trying to catch a shuttle flight somewhere. But think about 2050. Now, you're going to be here for 2050. It's only 39 years from now. It's like the day after tomorrow for transportation facilities. America in 2050 is going to have 100 million more Americans than we have today. So to give you some perspective on that, that's like adding California and Texas and Florida and New York to the population. And think about how congested our transportation system is today. Add in 100 million more people, and you, you, you get the, ch the challenge that we have and why we're so excited uh, about building, uh, the, literally building the future infrastructure for America. And with gas going up to $4 a gallon and e even higher in the future most likely, we know we have to do this in an environmentally sustainable way. So we have the rare opportunity that hasn't happened in a very long time uh, to maintain and build transportation systems that connect people with jobs, that connect people with opportunities, that, that, that literally uh, uh, enhance our quality of life. But we get to do it in an environmentally sustainable way, one that your great-grandchildren will be proud of. And since the jobs of tomorrow depend on building this world-class transportation network, now is the time, and uh, that's what we're doing. And we're doing it in some ways that haven't been done in the past. High-speed rail is one. Now, 100 years ago, America had high-speed rail. We had steam trains that did 100 miles an hour. Somehow we gave up on that and we lost that. Um, we're going back to that, and part of President Obama's vision is to have that uh, for the future as an additional mode of transportation to help accommodate those 100 million additional people. 
uh, we're going to make sure that our aviation system uh, meets the needs of the next century. And uh, instead of uh, a 1940s based uh, radar based system, uh, we're going to what's called next gen, next generation air transportation system, four dimensional GPS led uh, via satellites much more precise, much safer, and much more environmentally friendly. Um, on high-speed rail, we're going to connect 80% of America by high-speed rail uh, in the next 25 years. That's an enormous task. That's actually a shorter time span and a bigger challenge than Pre President Eisenhower gave the nation with the interstate system. But we feel we can do it. And it's going to do it, by the way, uh, reliably as well. Um, for example, under construction right now uh, are improvements from St. Louis uh, to Chicago. Those will allow the trains to do 110 miles an hour. Now, unless you're seriously breaking the law, you're not doing 110 on the highways. Um, it'll be a way that you can actually get between these city centers much faster than you can do uh, today. Uh, we know that it's going to take years of hard work to get where we're going. Uh, uh, myself uh, and my colleagues, we've been in the transportation industry for a number of years. Uh, but I have to tell you, it's the most exciting time uh, in transportation that it's been. You have to go back 10 presidents to President Eisenhower to have the same emphasis on transportation and infrastructure that you have with President Obama. And, and again, the reason is it's looking to the future and doing right by the future. So we're looking for innovators. We're looking for creativity. One of the great satisfactions all of us get in transportation is good, bad, or ugly, whatever you've done, you're riding on it, you're riding in it, you're driving past it, and you know if you've done it right, and you know if you haven't done it right, and, and how you need to do it better in the future. That's the kind of direct feedback and satisfaction that we all uh, get. Now, we're living in some difficult uh, economic times right now, but the perspective we should all have on that is, in the Great Depression, America invested in infrastructure. In the middle of the Civil War, President Lincoln actually started the, the Transcontinental Railroad. So times have been a lot tougher in the past, and we've thought a lot bigger in the past. That's something that we need to do today. Um, the President's budget uh, includes uh, transportation infrastructure at funding levels that has never been proposed at before, in ways that has never been proposed before, in a holistic way that includes communities and building from the ground up and letting communities decide what's important as opposed to uh, what uh, the federal government may decide what's important. It also includes safety. Safety is job one for us. It's the most important thing that we do. Uh, you'll see it throughout uh, everything that we do, whether it's aviation safety, uh, uh, rail, highway, uh, every part of the transportation system. It includes personal responsibility. And um, show of hands here, has, has anyone here texted while driving? You can be honest. I, I suspect there's more uh, that have texted while driving and have not, are not raising your hands now. But think about uh, the safety issue you're creating. It's, it's your danger not just to yourself, but to those around you. And personal responsibility means you don't text and drive. We have 30 states now that have outlawed texting and driving. Why? Uh, uh, because it kills over 5,000 people per year. It's one of the, one of the quickest, easiest ways uh, that we can improve uh, safety. Uh, going forward, uh, this is a key part of America's economic development, and I'd urge you to think about this in generational terms. Um, you know, if you look around America, wh whether it's, it's here or any other part of America, and if you're honest with ourselves, and you look at the transportation facilities, the bridges, the runways, the highways, they were conceived and designed and built and paid for by your parents and your grandparents, and in some cases, your great-grandparents. Then think about uh, the imperative that we all have to do better by the next generation, and ask yourself honestly, are, are we doing right by the next generation? Are we, living, are we leaving a better legacy than we found? And if you're honest with yourself, I, the answer is no. So that's why we're so energized about this. That's why President Obama is so insistent on building for the future, uh, what we call winning the future. That's why these kind of investments are so important, because every generation in America has left a better future for the next generation. We have that obligation. 
We all feel very strongly that we can do that in transportation. And so that's, that's why we're so energized by what we do. Uh, that's why we uh, can't wait actually to get to work in the morning. That's why the transportation work we do is so rewarding. So um, I, I hope you'll find the same. I'd urge you to uh, uh, look around at transportation careers, think about them seriously, and be passionate about whatever you do. So thanks and good luck to all of you.